All right, round four. Here's all my little chitlins and chickens. Y'all come on up. We're going to do this right. We're going to start with the sky, nail in our three colors that we mixed, and go from there. Sort of already pre-tested the yellow just because I got ahead of myself. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this bristle brush. <clears throat> I'm just going to wet it with the mineral spirits just so that the paint flows. Always keep a paper towel on your hand so you can adjust the moisture, but mainly, mainly I'm just going to go in to that main blue that I was using up at the top. And I'm just going to lay it in. We have this thin strip of blue, so uh, I'm just going to go after it and try to uh, paint as fast as I can. So, well, actually, I don't have to paint as fast as I can tonight. But still, I'm just going to cover this area a little bit with the blue. Um, being generous, loading up my brush. I'm not painting thin, thin, or anything like that. I can even, you could even drag some of that down. It doesn't really matter, matter. The next. The next uh, layer is is the hybrid between the yellow and the the blue is a lighter version. Um, so I can come in if I want to add these. Like I'll try to add a little bit of something something going on. So we'll we'll get to that, uh, and you'll see I'll lay in my sky pretty thick. Like that way it has a tendency to be more vibrant with the color that you chose. And also basically, typically, always, what a great sentence, right? Basically, typically, always. Kind of go up with this up and down motion. Um, learned that from another artist in town. Uh, and it's kind of lays the paint back because painting's not only two-dimensional is three-dimensional once the light hits it it picks up uh, all the little ins and outs that the brushes make so I'll come back in a little bit with the uh, darker blue just to help maybe blend a little bit of this uh, I hadn't even really cleaned my brush because I, I typically have a feel for how much paints on there if you have a bunch of white paint, you definitely want to wipe it off, clean it, go back again. So right now, I'm looking at this as my uh, scenario. I'm definitely uh, going to try to come in here with this yellow now. It was Naples, a little bit of the uh, ochre. Load up the brush. And... Throw it down. Mine's gonna be a little bit cooler than what the image because we didn't put any red out and it's, it's got this warm orangey feel but we're kind of skipping away from some of our colors right now and trying to make this color friendly. And to let you know that you can always paint any image and you don't have to have the right colors necessary. Another thing I can do is I'll go back into it and I can hint at a cloud up here. Doesn't have to be perfect. Uh, clouds usually have soft edges, kind of create a different uh, look by even giving your paint just a light, a lighter touch at times and a heavier touch, like the first stroke would be heavier. And then, so that is a lot of paint right there for that little small area, but <clears throat> you can kind of come in, have fun with your brush strokes, try to create something, but create it softly. And then you can blend in. So now we have a sky, although it's not as identical as what you might would like. This is our own painting. So we're doing great things just by doing this. 
You might want to skip an area or two. If you rub the paint off, even get some blue on your brush, go back in, um, kind of maneuver some of that paint. A lot of times the, the fight is in actually having enough paint on the canvas so that you can, for beginners or even people, even me a lot at times, is just to be able to ma manipulate what you have on the canvas. Um, you can't do that if you have this really thin layer of paint and uh, there's nothing to work with. So you'll see me a lot of times like load up the brush and definitely since this is our thickest highlight, like we could definitely create thicker paint, use it with thicker paint. So you see my like clouds and when I get closer to the horizon, like my strokes are a little more uh, horizontal than vertical, but then you can come back in and depending on what you want, you can change them. So that's round four. Good luck. See you on round five.